How to tell if a chemical reaction is balanced. So balancing chemical equations is important because a chemical equation that isn't balanced doesn't describe a chemical reaction properly. So this is the example we're going to use. Hydrogen and oxygen react together to give water. A chemical reaction is balanced if there are the same number of atoms of each element on both sides of the equation. So that means on this side, we have to have the same number of atoms of hydrogen as we have on this side. And on this side, we have to have the same number of atoms of oxygen as we have on this side. We can also say that the things on this side of the equation, i.e. to the left of the arrow, are called reactants. And the thing on this side of the equation, which is to the right of the arrow, are products. So if we go through and we draw out each molecule to show each element, on this side we have two hydrogens, because there's a little two there. We have two oxygens, one, two, because of the little two there. And then we have H2O. So H2O is H followed by little two and one O. So that little two means there are two hydrogens, one, two, and the O means there's an oxygen. If we look closely, before the hydrogen and before the water, there are numbers. And this two means there are two molecules of hydrogen. So there is one molecule of hydrogen, then there's two molecules of hydrogen. Similarly, there's a two before the water, which means there are two molecules of water. That's one molecule, that's the second molecule. So if we look at what we've got, on the left hand side we have one, two, three, four hydrogens and one, two oxygens. And on the right hand side of the equation, the products, we also have one, two, three, four hydrogens and one, two oxygens. So because we have four hydrogens here and four hydrogens here, and we have two oxygens here and we have two oxygens here, this chemical equation is balanced. If we look at one more example, sodium plus water, go to sodium hydroxide and hydrogen, is this equation balanced? So we're going to use exactly the same process, draw out all of the atoms, count them, and see if the number of atoms of one element are the same on the left hand side as on the right hand side. So we have one sodium, on the left hand side, we have one sodium on the right hand side, so the sodiums are balanced. We have one oxygen on the left hand side and one oxygen on the right hand side, so the oxygens are balanced. But if we look at hydrogens, on the left hand side we have one, two, but on the right hand side we have one, two, three. So because the hydrogens aren't balanced, there's a different number on the left hand side of the equation compared to the right hand side of the equation, this chemical equation here is not balanced.